Good morning. I'm Michelle. Thanks for tuning in. Today's class is all levels. Take it at your own pace. Hit the pause button when you need to. And set an intention or an affirmation. Today my affirmation is I am thankful for all things. So if you're ready, we'll get started in child pose. Bringing your toes together to touch. Open up your knees. Send your hips back to your heels. Send your arms out in front of you or back alongside your feet. Take a deep inhale in through your nose. Open up your mouth and exhale, let it all go. <sighs> and two more deep breaths just like that. Cleansing exhales. <sighs> Repeating your mantra, your affirmation. Maybe even throughout this practice, when things get a little intense or you start to feel the muscles a little stronger than you're used to, you can find some gratitude in that, in that moment. Start to narrow your breath down to just your nose, your ujjayi breathing. Evening out the breaths the very best you can. On your next inhale, stretch your arms out in front of you if they're not already. And then on an inhale, walk your hands over to the right, lifting the torso just a little and finding a big stretch on the left side of the body. Take a deep breath in to the left lung and a slow exhale out all the way to empty. As we begin to warm up our bodies, we start to condition our lungs and that muscle by breathing in, fill up completely, and by breathing out, feeling the contraction. Breathing out every little bit of air. On your next inhale, lift up your torso and walk it over to the other side. Stretching the right side of the body, breathing into the right lung. Relax your face and jaw. Close your eyes or fix your gaze on something very small. Letting your breath be the most interesting thing about each pose. So think of every time we get into a pose, let that be almost the beginning of your practice, the start of the practice, the start of your breath, the start of growing the breath. Bring it back to center. Remind yourself of your affirmation. You're going to need it throughout the class. I am thankful for all things. Lift up to all fours. Line up the creases of the wrist, elbows, and shoulders. Hips over your knees. And start to move your spine and cat cows, warming up the back muscles. Inhale as you arch and look up. Exhale as you round and curl. Push away from the earth. Draw your navel up and in. And tailbone to the back of your knees. Inhale. Magnetize the shoulder blades towards each other, guiding your heart forward and up, and then the gaze. Exhale. Spread the shoulder blades across the back. Draw belly up and in, chin to chest. Inhale, pick up the feet, tuck your toes, lift the gaze. Exhale, round and curl. A few more on your own, just like this, or start to circle around your mat, getting more into the entire body from your wrist all the way back into your toes. Pause wherever you feel your body talk to you. Reverse your direction. Whenever I reverse, I feel a lot of talking going on on my left. 
So I'm gonna linger here, send some breath into that left hip, bring all my awareness to it. It's a lovely sensation. I'm thankful for it though. Thankful for the ability to be able to move my body, to explore these sensations that live there. And bringing it back to neutral, keeping the toes tucked and dialing your fingertips back in the direction of your knees. Don't force it. A lot of times when people first start the practice, when I say dial your fingertips, they do it this way. So just be mindful. It's dialing right out to right, left out to left. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Make sure your spine is lengthening, lifting, elongating, and not collapsing in the lumbar. So bring your knees together, keep your toes tucked, sit back on your heels for a toe stretch, and to activate your bandhas. Mula Bandha, the space between your sit bones. Inhale, reach your arms up, lift your sphincter up, pull your belly in and up, lift your gaze up. Separate your hands, spread your fingers wide. On an exhale, bring the fingertip or fingers together, cactus your elbows. Elbows draw back and down, shoulder blades magnetize towards each other. Mula Bandha the sphincter, your kegels, Uddiyana Bandha is that corset sensation around the waist. Inhale, reach up, spread the fingers, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, interlace your fingers, push your palms forward and up. Finding a little back bend here in the upper back, not your low back, so tailbone down towards the heels, not in towards the knees or out towards the back of the mat. One more inhale. On an exhale, circle the arms around, bring your hands back to the mat, pick up your feet, give it a little tap, roll around your ankles or cultivate stillness. Flipping the palms up fingertips face the knees. You can do one at a time. This is not a wrist stretch. This is a wrist stretch. This is no and this is yes. If you need to do one at a time, do one at a time. If you need to soften the elbow, soften the elbow. Get the whole wrist down. There is a girl, her name's Allie. She's a firewoman. She does yoga in my class on her fist down dogs, planks, and all of that because she has wrist injuries. So she's made her adjustments when it comes to stuff like this. She alternates between the two. She doesn't go too deep. She knows her body. So we'll sit all the way back on our heels on the tops of the feet. Inhale the arms out and up. Look up. Touch the palms together. Exhale, cactus your elbows and maybe float one or both knees up. Feel what you're feeling, breathe into it. Inhale, arms up, knees down. Exhale, circle it around, bring your hands to the mat. We're gonna roll ourselves in to a rolling cobra pose. Inhale, arms bent or straight or maybe baby cobra hands off the mat, chest lifted, toes grounded, pubic bone down, belly in and up. One more breath, inhale. On an exhale, lift your hips, tuck your toes, prepare for down dog. So don't just go right back into it. Make sure fingers are spread wide, hand shoulder distance, eye of the elbow facing the top of the mat, lift your knees, Notice if you're collapsing in your low back, draw the belly in, wrap the ribs in, bring your ears to a line next to the biceps, lift the heels above your toes, shins either parallel to the mat or the best you can. Knees open or in, it's up to you, or you can alternate between the two. 
Take one more deep breath in. Now as you grip your mat with all 10 fingertips, wrapping the arm bones in and back, start to straighten out your legs, lift up your hips, send your sit bones skyward, navel to spine, and then start to pedal out your heels. Working your way through those sensations in the back of your legs. If you've had enough of that, lift both heels nice and high, and then swing your heels to the right. Take your left hand, if you want, and tent all five fingers, and stretch your left hand towards the top of the mat. We're gonna put a little bend in the knees, grip the mat a little stronger with that right hand, and then find a side plank. Sweep the left bicep around and by your ear. Stay here or stack your left foot on top of the right and lift your left arm to the sky. Stay there, find starfish. Lift your left foot up. Stay there, grab your left foot. Wild thing. One more deep breath in and a deep breath out. Back the way we started. Down dog, deep breath in, deep breath out. Lift your heels, heels over to the left. Tense your right fingertips, find more side stretch in the right side body. Bend the knees, grip the mat with your left hand. Right arm sweeps up and around, bicep by your ear side plank. Same thing, whatever you did on the other side. Try to ground your left big toe. Wild thing is grabbing the right big toe. Getting right into it, right? Backing out the way we got there. Down dog. Inhale. Open up your mouth, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, lift your right leg back and up. Exhale, bring your right knee to your nose. Inhale, circle the right knee around and up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, circle the right knee around and up. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one, circle it around and up. Exhale, knee to nose. Look between your hands, step your right foot all the way up. If you wanna modify, lower that back knee. Make sure you have your stability, your foundation and your feet, sweep the arms back, crescent variation. Right hip drives back, left thigh bone forward and down. Inhale, sweep with the arms, forward and up, finding a high crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus your elbows, and twist to the right. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center, twist to the left. Three is the magic number. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, center and up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Lower your back knee and bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Knee stays over the ankle, tuck the toes, lift the knee if you want more or keep it down. Open up, spread your wings. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Half bind, right hand up on the back. Left hand, maybe full bind, finds the right. Bring your gaze up, keep grounding that right big toe, squeezing your inner thighs, both legs active. We're gonna inhale, 
water wheel. Right arm reaches back, left arm forward. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, circle it around, frame your right foot. Inhale, sweep the right leg back and up. Open up the hip, bend the knee, look under left armpit. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, bring the right knee to tap your left elbow. Hover here for five or fly for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, the right leg lifts. And then you'll step the right foot back up between the hands and pivot to the left. Bend your left knee, skater lunge. Pause here, float your right toes up. Keep the hands down or lift up to the fingertips or open up, spread your wits for five. Left, right leg is firm, knee is lifting, thigh is engaged, three. Belly in, ribs in, two, and one. Pivot around to the back. Step with the left foot back, high plank pose. Inhale, exhale, low push up, with or without your knees. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. So you can always skip the vinyasa or modify it. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low push-up. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg back up. Step the right foot up between your hands and pivot to the left. Right hand stays down. Left hand to the left hip. Look left. Push down with your right hand. Firm up the thighs and lift your left arm. Twisting from your navel center. Press down and in with your feet to squeeze and hug your inner thighs. Take another breath here. And on an exhale, thread the needle. Grab Bring your left hand around to grab your right foot, ankle, or leg. Right hand can stay on the ground, walking the fingertips out. Or you can lift the right arm to the sky. Or take the right hand and thread it through and see if you can find your left foot, ankle, or leg. Gently releasing, hands under the shoulders. Your left hand will stay down. Your right hand will come to your hip. You'll look to the right and breathe. Lift the kneecaps, engage your thighs. And then wherever you went on the other side, if you lifted the arm, lift your right hand to the sky. Try not to let that left hip fall in. Keep it lifting. As the right shoulder opens, lift the left hip simultaneously. And then exhale, thread the needle through the hole. And whatever you did on the other side, mirror that here. And we'll start to unwind. Inhale, halfway lift. Soften the knees and bring it around to the left side lunge. Step back, high plank pose. Inhale, exhale, low push up. Knees or no knees, it's the same. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Two fist distance, soften your knees, grab a hold of opposite elbows. Hang heavy here, can sway side to side. Shake it forward and back. Or just cultivate stillness, finding equal pressure in all four sides of your feet. One more deep breath in. 
see if you can feel a little more sensation in the back of your legs by pushing your hips back. Release your hands, pull the belly in, and ragdoll your way all the way up to standing, rolling the shoulder blades back and down. Inhale, sweep with the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, a little back bend. Inhale, gaze this forward, soften the knees, open up the arms, and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold like a wave in motion. Inhale, halfway lift. Try to breathe in as much as you can. Open up your mouth this time and exhale. Ah. Soften the knees. Walk it back out to a downward facing dog. Stay here or vinyasa. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, let the breath just roll right into each other. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, circle the left leg around and back. Exhale, letting the breath just roll into each other, knee to nose. Inhale, circle the left leg around and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one, inhale. Exhale, look between your hands and step your left foot. Find your stability, your foundation, ground down, squeeze and hug the inner thighs, float with the arms back, crescent variation, inhale, Strong leg, exhale, squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale, sweep with the arms, forward and up. Give yourself a moment to find your breath because we want to be begin each pose as if we're just beginning our practice with our breathing, with our awareness, our bandhas, our drishti. Cactus your elbows. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. If you have a tight low back, this is really good for a tight low back. One more. Just saying. Inhale, reach with the arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Lower that back knee down. If you want, you don't have to lower it. I like to lower it to get into position. And then you can keep it lowered if you like. Or you can lift it back up when you are ready. Open up, spread your wings. Half bind, left hand palm up on the back. Full bind, right hand reaches underneath the left leg. Bring your head back aligned with your tailbone. Stay strong in that back leg. It's easy to forget about it. Slowly water wheel your way up. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, circle it around. Frame your left foot. Straighten the leg, lift the toes, and pivot to the right. Bend your right knee. Hands flat, fingertips or no hands. Left toes lift. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Pivot around to the right, right side lunge. Inhale. Exhale, take the right foot back, high plank. 
inhale exhale low push up inhale cobra exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg lifts bend the knee open up the hip look under your right armpit inhale right heel lifts left leg extends exhale step left foot all the way up no left knee to right elbow stay for five or fly four three two and one bring it back and up inhale and exhale this time step it up between your hands and pivot to the right <sighs> inhale halfway lift exhale and fold this time walk all ten fingertips out in front of you stretch your hips back stretch your arms forward lift your arches squeeze and hug the feet in stay here for another five or ten breaths or bring your hands between the legs or find an inversion of your choice hmm. using this time to deepen your breath deepen the awareness of those sensations the movement of the breath and reminding yourself of your affirmation I am thankful for all things today no matter what shows up I'm gonna try my best to find gratitude within it like right now finding gratitude in my sit bones for all the sensations that I'm feeling. On your next inhale, walk your hands back. Bend your knees a few times, left and right, right and left. And then bring it back around, right side lunge. High plank on an inhale. Low push up on an exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look up between your hands. You'll take little baby step. Do, 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 do. Or you'll take a frog hop. So frog hop is when you put a little bend in your knees, finding some buoyancy, jumping up and clapping your feet. Jump up, clap your feet. Jump up, clap, and land between your hands. Lift all ten toes. Lift your gaze. Reach your arms up. Find chair. Ow. Reach up. Inhale. Take a brief pause. Look down at the front of your knees. If you don't see your toes, move your knees back. Move your hips back. Doing the best we can to bring the knees above your ankles. Press the knees, hug your hips. One more inhale here. Inhale, rise up. Find a little back bend. One more breath. Firm your thighs, lift your belly, lengthen the tail. Inhale, gaze is forward. Knees are soft, arms open, lead with the heart and forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Open up your mouth and exhale. Ah. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands down, step jump or float back. If you're floating back, it's the same kind of sensation. It's about leaning forward, looking forward, and hopping back. Low push up. If you hop back, it's with bent elbows. If you step back, high to low. So straight to bent. Exhale, down dog. Make sure your feet are hip bone distance apart. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step right foot close to your right thumb. Turn your left heel in about a half an inch. Where your left toes 
face up towards the top left corner of your mat. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, interlace. I think this is the most I've ever sweated out here. Press the palms together. Guide your heart forward and up. Draw your, draw your knuckles down that left leg. <clears throat> Keep pushing into the outer edge of that left foot and your right big toe. And on an exhale, pull the belly in, round your spine. Find humble warrior. Chin to chest, arms lift off your back. Keep the right knee over your ankle. Keep that right hip from moving out. So this is no, this is yes. This took me forever to learn, or my hip took a while to learn. <laughs> On an inhale, you're gonna keep the bind. Come halfway up. Lift the heel of your back foot so you're on the ball of the left foot. Look 12 inches in front of your mat. Find warrior three. The slower you move, the better. Left hip bone and left knee face down, left toes face down. One more deep breath in here. We're gonna slowly rise up. We're gonna bring the left knee up, reach our arms up, inhale. On an exhale, you're gonna place your left foot down and eagle wrap your right elbow under the left and lift your right knee up. Cross your right knee over the left, your Ganyarasana. Elbows off the chest, legs are squeezing, so your upper thigh bones are squeezing together Feeling your mula bandha. Start to hinge forward from the hips. Take a full breath in. And full breath out. Slowly release the right knee. Extend it back. Warrior three on the left foot. So feel your hands move forward. Feel the right leg move back. Put a little bend in the left knee and straighten it for five. Four, three, two, one. Slowly step your right foot back, find warrior two on the left for a pause. Straighten out the leg, lift the toes, turn your toes in, cactus your elbows, turn the heels in, goddess pose. So you can come up and horse, this is a nice strong pose, or you can go a little deeper, really feel it, in your goddess pose. What? <laughs> huh? Thank you. Oh, yes, thank you for this lovely sensation right here though, right in the back of my legs. So our arms are cactus, our belly's in, our tailbone's down, and there's an orange underneath the chin. So your chin's not all the way down or not all the way up. And then we'll take little pulses for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, for three, for two, and one. Sink a little deeper, lift your heels, reach the arms up and lower the right heel, then the left, right, left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Both heels down, reach up with the arms and a flat back halfway. So as you reach forward, send your hips back and send your knees further apart for five, four, three. This is Susan's favorite pose. So Susan, if you're watching, stay another minute here. Uh, not me though. Hands down, she's so strong. Turn your heels out. Bend your knees, right and left, left and right. We're gonna bring it around to the right and lower the left knee. Half split pulse. Lift up the hips, send your right toes skyward. Firm up your thigh. Isometrically pull right heel and left knee towards each other. 
Mm, not gonna lie, before this yoga class, I was not in the mood for this yoga class. I'm in the mood now. Just moving energy and finding that affirmation and repeating it over and over in my head <sighs> just changes my perspective. Changes my attitude to gratitude. So if you want more, you can go for that full split. We have another five breaths. And then a little background on me. I was raised doing gymnastic dance and ballet. And my whole life until probably about 30 years old, I was never able to do a split on the right side. The left side came very easy for me. So when I told that to my yoga teacher, she was like, oh, it's time for you to get your right side. I worked on it and it just happened. But at the time I used to think, oh, it's just never gonna happen. When you're ready, we're gonna lift up out of it, bend the right knee, lift the left knee. Your left hand will come flat. We're gonna twist the toes to the right that right hand can stay down. This feels really good to release tension in the side body and your low back. Or you can lift the right arm up. You can sink your hips and lift the hips back up. If the hips are here, lift back up. Step your right foot back, find side plank again. Stay there, take the right foot behind your left and spin your heart and hips to the sky. And then we'll circle it around and take a counter pose. Pivot the left toes to the left. Reach left arm out to the back of the mat and extend your right foot out. You can lower the right foot and lift it or you can keep it low, you keep it high. Bring it in slowly, find a high plank. Inhale, exhale, low push up. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left foot steps up towards your left thumb. Warrior one on the left side. So make sure your feet do not cross paths. There's space between, just like there's space between your hip bones. Doing our best to get our hip bones to face forward. Our pelvic bones. Exhale, cactus your elbows. So right here, I personally have to work a little more I'm guiding that right hip forward. So my butt cheeks are really squeezing here. Interlace your fingers behind you. Make a fist with your hands and take a few breaths here. We linger here for a few inhales and a few exhales. Feel your heart move forward and up. Feel the left knee stay above that left ankle. Now on an exhale, humble variation. Chin to chest. Keep hugging the outer left hip back. Apple or orange under your chin. Inhale as you come halfway up. Lift the heel of the back foot. Lean into the left foot and float your right leg up. Warrior three. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale. Feel the belly lift, not the belly sinking down. Slowly as the right knee comes in, the arms reach up. You lower the knee. You eagle wrap left elbow under right. Lift left knee. Cross left knee over right. Lift the elbows. 
Gently guide your knees a little bit to the left to square your hip bones off. On your next inhale, lower your elbows towards the knees. Feel the spreading of the shoulder blades. Slowly release left foot back, warrior three. With five, bend and straighten. Four, three, feeling thankful for that burning sensation in the back of the leg. Step it back for a brief pause in warrior two on the right side. Reach the arms up, lift your toes up, flip, bring the toes back in, open the arms wide, cactus, turn the heels back out. Goddess or horse, your choice. Choices, that's what I like in life, have choices. Little pulses, up and squeeze. Up and squeeze, up and squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get a little lower. Lift your heels. Lower, lift, lower. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, arms up, heels down, flat back for five. Keep lifting your belly, four. Look up at your hands this time, three. Bend the knees a little more, two. And one, lower your hands, turn your heels out. Bend left and right a few times. Hmm. And then we come back around to left side lunge and half split pose. Ah, half split. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Really important in especially th this pose for me anyway, to focus on the isometric move so I feel it where I'm supposed to, which is in the back of my left leg and the engagement in the front of my left thigh. This leg's not working too hard, except I'm rolling my right hip in. So last few breaths. If you wanna come all the way down to your full split, go for it. Making sure your back foot lines up with your right hip. Your left foot lines up with your left hip. We're going to take it back nice and slow. This time I'm going to tuck my back toes. I'm going to lift up and sweep the left leg back at the same time. Bend the knee, open up the hip, stay there or flip your dog. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Circling around nice and slow, pivoting the right toes to the right, lifting up with the right hand, extending your left leg, Lower and lift, keep it hovering or keep it low. Bringing it back to a high plank. Inhale and exhale, low push up. Inhale, high push up. Exhale, low push up. Inhale, high, two more. One more and then lower all the way down. <sighs> Reaching forward with your hands, pinkies down, thumbs up, tops of the feet pressing down, thighs are firm. Inhale, lift the right leg and your left arm. Hold for five, four, three, two, 
and one and lower. Inhale, right arm, left leg for five, four, three, two, and lower. Lift the feet and the arms for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Child's Pose. Bring the knees together. Sit back on your heels. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. <sighs> Inhale, roll yourself back up to all fours or down dog. We're going to make our way to the top of the mat. So you choose how you want to get there. Jump, float, handstand, hop. Whatever you like. Inhale, reach with the arms up. Legs are straight. Toes are up. Exhale and fold. Hmm. Finding your inner smile. Finding your kind eyes for yourself and for others. And finding this sense of appreciation for the body and all the movements that we did today. And your next inhale, roll yourself up, roll yourself down, find your Shavasana for a brief pause, giving yourself a moment to let go. A moment to calm and settle. And giving ourselves time to feel. On your next inhale, reach arms over your head, pull your navel to spine, spine to the mat, tailbone towards your heels. Exhale, bring your knees or your feet together back is down and printing into the mat inhale here get longer through the sides of the waist and on an exhale bring your knees in lift your head up and give yourself a big hug mm -hmm. inhale lowers your head back down and then rock it side to side a few times massaging the low back Circle your knees around in opposite directions. Reverse it. And then get ready for bridge work. Feet hip bone distance apart. Heels as close to your sit bones as you're comfortable. So if it's not comfortable, it's not right. If it feels good, it's right. Hands and arms close to the body. So there's effort here. Inhale, belly in, back down. Start to imprint your spine into the mat. On the exhale, start to curl your spine off the mat one vertebra at a time. Now check in. Don't squeeze your glutes. Press down and in with your feet, knees, and inner thighs. Option to keep your hands here. Option to interlace your hands. Orange under the chin. Option to reach your arms back over your head. And then your final option would be a full wheel. Inhale to rise. You have five more breaths. Stay here or on an inhale, lift your right leg. Feel the imbalance. You'll be fine. Lower the right leg. That's my self-talk. Inhale the left leg. 
and lower, slowly. Two more breaths. One more breath. On an inhale, you'll lower all the way down. You'll lift your legs up and your arms up. And if you went into the full wheel and you're feeling a lot of sensation like I am, roll around your wrist or just observe the sensation until it fades. But make sure you focus on that uncomfortableness wherever it might be until it fades and it will. Nothing lasts forever. Not even the most wonderful things in life. Happy baby pose, hands to the inner arches, knees out wide or knees in a little closer. Tailbone stays down, that's the work. It's not the knees, how low they can go. It's tailbone down, back imprinted, shoulders down and back. Apple or orange under the chin. Jaws relaxed. Breath is even. Stay there, kick into your hands and straighten out your legs the best you can today. On your next inhale, we're going to bring the legs up, cross the right knee over the left. Ah, oh, so good. It's my favorite pose. Just allowing the stretch and the groin and a nice release of tension in that outer right hip. Another great stretch for low back tightness. We're gonna keep the knees, open up the arms, either wide like a T or bend your elbows like a cactus. Scoot your hips to the right and lower the knees over to the left. Oh, so good. And if you have a favorite twist, I encourage you to take that one. This used to be my least favorite twist, so I started doing more of it. Now it's my favorite. Try to observe where you might be holding on to tension and let go. Whenever I get into this position, it reminds me of being in the chiropractor's office. I let go and I, I let God take over which is my husband. <laughs> but you have to relax. You have to let go in order to receive. One more breath. On an inhale, make sure your gaze is center. Then lift your knees up. Center your hips, uncross your legs. Take a moment. I like to separate my feet here and draw my knees together. A little decompression in the low back. And then feet back together, left over right. Hands somewhere you're comfortable. And surrender. Ready for the twist? Lower the right foot, scoot your hips to the left, arms out wide, to your cactus, and knees to the left. Gaze, or knees to the right, gaze to the left. Go ahead and breathe into what you're feeling. Try not to resist. On the exhale, let go.
One more breath here. Okay, center. Inhale, knees center. Uncross center your hips. Separate your feet. Breathe, pause, knees together. And bring your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart and repeat your affirmation three times. I am thankful for all things today. I am thankful for all things today. I am thankful for all things today. Bring your arms comfortably away from your body, palms face up. Kiss the soles of your feet together, let your knees open up wide. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, open up your mouth and say, ah. Inhale, stretch your right foot to the right corner of the mat and your left foot to the left corner of the mat. Take another deep breath in through your nose. Open up your mouth and say, ah. Keeping a little space between your lips. Relaxed jaw and face. Do a little scan of your body from your toes to the top of your head, making sure everything is completely relaxed. The most important pose we do in our practice is this one, calming down our nervous system, connecting to breath in the present moment. Finding our inner smile and our kind eyes. I hope you received what you needed to move through the rest of today with ease and grace, with love in your heart and thankfulness for everything that shows up, especially the things that make you uncomfortable. Namaste, yogis.